Hi everyone, this is Jim from Nice Work Pal and I'm here with Dawn. Hi. Hi, and we're here at Hollywood Studios. We're here for a nice relaxing day. The weather looks a little sketch. I think it's a little hot, but overcast and the sun's not beating on you, I think that's good. It is good, it's good until it rains. But the good news is, is we're primarily here to do some relaxing. We're gonna see some shows, um, get a few good food and drink items. Uh, we'll do some rides too, whatever uh, uh, whatever comes our way, but uh, nothing's gonna ruin this day. So come along. Let's go. Right at opening, we have built a drop or two of rain, but the wait times for rides aren't too bad yet, so we're gonna get right to it. There's the Hollywood Tower Hotel, home of the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. I don't know if we'll go on that today because Dawn doesn't like it. But she doesn't mind rock and roller coaster, so we're gonna do that. Right now it says it's only a 10 minute wait. And by the time it took us to get here, time has jumped from 10 to 20 minutes, but that is a-okay. Rock on! Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. What? We can't leave these people here like this. We can't? No. Oh. Come on, you know how we feel about our fans. Yeah, yeah that's no. right. Well, guys, what do you expect me to do? Send them all with you? Yeah. Hey, yeah, nice. Wait. Like wait a minute. I love that idea. How about some backstage passes? Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, come on. Yeah, come on. Make it happen. Come Give on. us some. Okay. Okay, okay. okay. I'll make it happen. Right, Don't get right. out of here. Right. I hate all of you. We'll see you. Have a nice ride. Bye, salads, babe. Listen, I'm going to need a bigger car. was pretty awesome but uh, uh, I forgot at the last second I was wearing my glasses and uh, it was fine they didn't go off anywhere still got them I did remember to take off my hat but uh, that was the first time we had been on it since they refurbished it and I didn't see a lot of anything different other than maybe the signs looked a little brighter and maybe it's just not gonna break down as often that'd be nice so up next we're gonna catch the Frozen sing-along. Believe it or not, this is probably one, it might be my favorite attraction in Hollywood Studios because it is just so full of good jokes and they always seem to work a couple good new ones in there. because for the first time in forever, Elsa and I will be celebrating the Arendelle Festival. <laughs> now I'm honored to introduce to you the Arendelle Royal Historian. Hey! Hello, <laughs> everybody. Wow. Oh, oh my gosh, Anna. You're beautiful. Wow. It's me, Aria. Aria. Oh, and uh, good morning. I am Sir Eric. Oh. Oh. I'm just Eric. Just Eric. We're gonna clap. Let's yes. clap. Uh, uh, thank you, just Eric. Uh, thank you. And what a better way to celebrate Aaron Dell than to have the royal historians share the story of our kingdom. Oh, and our queen, who just happens to be my sister, Queen Elsa. Is she here? Oh, I have been looking forward to this moment for so long. I haven't showered. What? what? <laughs> I'm kidding, I did not shower. <laughs> That's an overshare. Oh well. Uh, I don't know where she is. Oh, how many have you seen my sister? Well, she's about so tall, blonde, kind of keeps to herself. <laughs> oh yeah, and she has these cool IT snow powers. Like pew, 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 pew. Oh my god. Oh, thank you. <laughs> no? Oh, 
I know. Hey, Elsa, do you want to build a snowman? King and Queen rushed on into the of the trolls. And if you don't know what a troll is, consider yourself lucky. They're mischievous creatures with strange magic, and I've never been a fan since one of them rolled over my toe. What? And I had to watch him go. And now it's my toe. No mo. No mo. Okay, you know what? Focus! Grab Poppy, the king of the trolls, while he fixed on his head. But in the process, he removed all memories of magic. <gasps> Listen to me, Elsa. Your power will only grow. There is beauty in it, but also great danger. You must learn to control it. Fear will be your enemy. Dreaming of the possibilities of opening the castle doors for the first time in. Thanks, I forgot. It's Coronation Day. It's Coronation Day. And out of it, someone tall, dark, handsome, and dreamy. Who? Prince Hans of the Southern Isles. Yeah. Oh, oh, I, I hear some boos and a. He is my boo, everybody. Uh -oh. <laughs> I'm holding his hands. I'm sitting in his hands. Wee! <laughs> Love him. He's not that good looking. Are you kidding me? Streamy. Dude's face is 40% chin. Ah! Oh, I love that in a man. You know what? I'm going to say it again. He is dreamy. Woo! A little daddy. Oh. <laughs> that was for the moms. Welcome. Yes. This is a late morning show, 9.30. What? <laughs> Did the lights. <laughs> Eric, clearly you know nothing about love. A wise woman once said love is an open door. Here we go. I would never shut you up. Okay, can I just say something crazy? I love crazy. And that's what the real hero of our story enters an awesome talking snowman named... Yes, he likes warm hugs and summer. Nobody oh, likes summer. I love summer. Summer. <gasps> Oh, I don't know why, but I've always loved the idea of summer and sun and all things hot. Really? I'm guessing you don't have much experience with heat. Nope. Oh, summer time. Did you just say time? Yeah. Not time is running out. We gotta finish the story. Oh, man, sir. Well, first of all, for some months, then they make tail size castle in the North Mountain. I'll sit down away, freezing your heart. Accidentally. What'd you learn to burn those days? She sends marshmallow after them. Then Chris and Anna almost die with jump off the cliffs. But luckily, the snow's there to stop their fall. This world learned that Olaf has no skull and no bones. I don't have a skull. Or bones. Ah, but Anna's hair starts to turn white, and when Chris Dunn takes it in the love expert. Trolls, but it's too late. I was getting colder by the minute, as Grandpa says. Only an act of true love can thaw a frozen heart. Why is he British? He's a Rolling Stone. Ah, uh, just put a breakfast buffet or something. Sounds great. Right? Put a little shuffle. Whoa! <laughs> it's Anna. Well, and there is Kristoff. Meow. Hello. Hello. Have you found your sister yet? Yes. Well, we're soon. Kind of looking for her. What's going on? Well, it's getting cold in here, so that can only mean one thing. Oh, I hope so. That we can really celebrate the Arendelle Festival.
the Frozen sing-along was pretty awesome. I wouldn't say that was the funniest show I ever saw, but it was still pretty good and a, always, always a few new jokes. Love it. Only five minutes to see the star of the show, Olaf. Hello, Olaf. We hear from the royal historians that you are the one responsible for saving Arendelle. Is this true? Yes. I knew it. Can we get our picture taken with you today? That would be awesome. The Indiana Jones Stunt Spectacular. Standby entrance and just in time. So great to see all your smiling faces today. My name is Trudy. I am the director for your film shoot today. How many of you have seen our film shoot before? Let's take a look at that. Yes, thank you so much for coming back and supporting us. We appreciate you. We just, uh, we're so happy for all of you. Well then, most of you do know that what normally we can bring you are three action-packed scenes. But today, due to weather, as I'm sure you're aware, we're having some very rainy conditions, but more importantly, we're having some lightning. And because of that reason, it's so close in the area, we cannot move these large set pieces that you see behind me here, three of them uh, for the safety of our cast and crew. However, we can bring you our iconic Mayan temple scene. So when you see Indy make his entrance onto our set, and anytime he does a great stunt, I want to hear you guys cheer, scream, yell, holler, make a lot of noise. Can you do it? Yes, thank you so much for your patience. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy scene one of Indiana Jones' epic stunt spectacular! <laughs> Jones, we ran in there real quick because it looked like rain, and then we found out that uh, the show doesn't go on if it's too bad um, because it was just a little rain. They uh, they did a partial show, which was great. So we got to see something. We got to stay out of the rain, so that was cool. I don't know if we'll go back to see the whole thing today, but uh, it was nice to see something. Just to the left of Indiana Jones is this new den of Indian den of destiny which is a new little spot uh, that has some uh, neat museum type pieces and drinks. Oh, yeah, and this is because of the new movie, Indiana Jones and the Den of... It's not the Den of Destiny, I don't think. The Dial of Destiny is the movie. Here are the beverages that they have here. There's a few alcoholic ones and one non-alcoholic beverage. I think I'm gonna get a tangerine wheat ale. That's good. A little citrusy, a little light, crisp, very good. Here's some props from the upcoming movie. I have not seen it yet, so I don't know what they are. Here's a nice photo op where you can get your picture taken with the actual Dial of Destiny, whatever that is. So we're, we're here over at the launch bay. We're going to go meet some Star Wars characters. Also, we heard that the Visa character spot is back open. Um, we are uh, Disney Visa card carriers, so we can go to that line. Hopefully it'll be super short and we'll get some extra uh, 
meet and greets with uh, whoever they have in there. Let us dispense with the pleasantries. Yes, sir. Come forward. <laughs> Next to me. Thanks for meeting with us today. Someone has been harboring a rebel spy. You exhibit elevated levels of anxiety. Should I assume a correlation? It would be regrettable if his version of events were to controvert yours. Keep our story straight. We are aware of your rebel sympathies. Need I remind you that loyalty is not something one wants to misplace? Uh, yes, sir. Quickly! visa photo opportunity was so cool because we got to see Darth Vader and there was no waiting uh, but if we hadn't known it was there um, we would not have even seen it it didn't look like it was posted anywhere but again no waiting for Darth Vader that was awesome um, also that lightsaber thing that was cool that was so cool I did not know they were doing that in there all right it's time to get a little something to eat and the ABC Commissary is going to be a great place to get something good. So we've mobile ordered. We're going to uh, grab our food in just a minute and see what delights await us. We have our food and I got the grilled cheese, uh, grilled chicken, buffalo, chicken. buffalo grilled buffalo chicken, and you got the chicken club. Uh, we both got the salad with it. That looks good. And then we got the, the fried cheesecake dome. We got the fried cheesecake dome. That looks fun. The buffalo chicken is very tasty. I like it a lot. It lives up to the expectations. The salad, actually also good. Light, sweet, crispy. It's good. It's a whipped berry, white chocolate cheesecake on a vanilla cookie glazed with red, white chocolate mirror glaze topped with Mickey Pride ears. All right, all of that sounds delicious to me. So it's time to dig in. Mmm, indoctrinating. <laughs> so good. This is delicious. And this is probably the best dessert I've had here in a long time. Yeah. One of the nice things about the ABC Commissary is they have some great seating that really gets you out of the out of the heat and into some air conditioning. Uh, and they they only let you sit here if you've ordered some food, so there's usually a table for you. It's very nice in here this clip for today we're gonna to show you the rest of this stuff in another video there was so much going on today that it just it's just too much so uh, we'll make another video showing you the rest of the day um, we haven't been here in so long that I feel like there was so much we hadn't done new things to see um, so yes yeah, stay tuned for part two It's creepy to call Darth Vader someone special. <clears throat>